Welcome to the TaylorMade Workshop. I'm Jay. And I'm Valerie. Today we're going to show you how we made these decorative balancing wine boards step by step. So stick around. So these are, are fun and easy projects to do, even a novice woodworker like myself. Uh, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know that she's the woodworker in the family, it's not me. Uh, and so, uh, I mean, even I could do this if I had to. Um, and they make great gifts, right? So if you have a, a, a circle of friends or family that enjoy wine, uh, these, are, these are great gifts for that kind of thing. In fact, that's why we're actually making these. Uh, but uh, we made some of these last weekend. Uh, and we learned a lot, I think, from that process when we made that first set. Uh, what, what are some of the things that we learned? Or what does somebody need to know that's getting ready to start a project like this? I think the most important thing to get right is your angle. Make sure that um, you have that angle right so that you can balance the wine bottle without tipping it over. We did a bunch of that before we ever got into the nice expensive wood. We practiced a lot aligning where the hole needed to be and the right angle. So once we got it dialed in, then we, then we can start making a bunch of them. Okay, so we're making another set of these uh, for another set of gifts. And uh, we're getting ready to start on that. So what's the first thing that we need to do for this particular project for today? Well, the first step would be to draw it out on graph paper and figure out how big each piece you want, and then that way you have a cut list. Okay, so now that we you know know what we're going to do and, and you know get that started, so let's, I guess, start cutting, right? All right, let's get to it. When we made the shelf for the smoker, we used a cutting board style technique. We're doing the same thing here. So all we're doing is setting up the fence and making my cuts, starting from the most narrow, going to the widest cut. The next step is to plane all the surfaces that are going to be glued to each other. That way we have we can get the tightest fit as possible. So we're back inside because it's too cold in the garage for the glue to work effect. Right. The glue works best above 55 degrees, so we just moved everything inside. Now, when we did the shelf for the smoker, again, we had these stri strips of wood that we're gluing together, and we sandwiched them between uh, two pieces of scrap wrapped in, in wax paper. Right. The reason we did that was because we wanted to make sure that the pieces didn't walk this way. I think that since these are so small, there's, it's probably not going to do that. So I think we're going to get away with that. And the countertop is going to serve as, as a right. We're just going to keep it flush. Right. We're just going to push down as we clamp, push down against the countertop, and that'll that should keep it pretty good. Okay. So let's glue it up. All right. So you want a good edge to edge. Yeah. I want to make sure the whole surface has nice even coat of glue. And then when you clamp everything, you want it snug but not overly tight so that you don't squeeze out all of the glue. Correct. So I'm butting the edge of the boards up against the metal so that should keep them straight this way. And I'm just trying to do even pressure with all of my all of my clamps at the same time. And I'm assuming you're going to clean this stuff up here. Yep. Less work later if I kind of clean it up now. Okay, we have the vertical stripes done. We've got the uh, accent pieces all glued up and ready to go. What are we doing next? Next step is I'm going to trim these off to shore up the edges, trim these off to shore up the edges, and then make my cut to insert my accent pieces. Now we're going to glue in our accent piece and let it sit 
once it's done, we'll go ahead and cut the board to length, which is going to be, the final length will be nine and a half inches. Now that the glue is set, we're ready to go ahead and cut them to length. Now that I have it cut to length, I still need to cut, make my 45 degree cuts and drill my hole, but I want to do that after I smooth the surfaces. If it were a bigger piece and I didn't have these cross cuts, I would just run them through the planer. With the sanding finished, now our next steps are to cut those 45 degree angles and drill the holes. Let's go to the drill press. I've marked my hole two and a half inches down and centered it across the board and I'm using a 1 and 3 8 inch Forstner bit to drill the hole. Next we're going to cut our 45 degree angles making sure that both angles are going the same direction. To make sure that the wine bottle balances correctly I need to make sure that the hole and the edge of my board are both at that 45 degrees. To achieve this I'm going to use my router and a 45 degree chamfer bit and I'm going to route both sides of this hole. Okay, so this is uh, I mean, pretty much done at this point because you've got your angles in, you've got the holes drilled, you've got them routed out, they're, they're uh, like 99% done. What's, what's left? The only thing left to do is to soften the edges so they're not so sharp and to finish it with whatever you choose to finish it with. So I, I really enjoyed making these. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, um, I, think, I think the people that we're making them for are going to really enjoy these. Uh, so there you have it. It's it's a it's a pretty straightforward project. Even a even a numbskull like me could do it. <laughs> and uh, you know you know we certainly appreciate you watching, taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you have any questions, post those below, and the smart one will get back to you as soon as she can. And uh, anything else? If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And we'll see you next time on the Taylor Made Workshop. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, they make great gifts, so if you have uh, somebody that enjoys wine in your family and friends of your, your circle, circle. if you've watched this channel, you know that I'm not the woodworker in the family. Sorry, I'm getting the giggles. <laughs> You're saying circle, and I just kept saying circle, circle, and I just started laughing. I'm sorry. I'm deliriously tired and just, okay, okay, I think I've got it. Okay. Don't look at me. All right. <laughs> as quickly as she can. Um, what else? Thanks for watching. Subscribe. <laughs> just like, oh. <laughs> I needed to know what I was going to say so that I could be ready.